안녕하세요, 갤레디입니다. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you a story. So it's a story time video. So for this story time, it's kind of like a creepy, scary story time. So a few nights ago, my friend and I we were trying to find haunted places near where we live because we kind of always wanted to go like to crybaby bridges or like haunted buildings I would suppose like you know like universities or like abandoned warehouses <laughs> something like that so we were just looking up places to go well we did find one that was really close to where we lived it was about 30 minutes away and we were going to this town and like there's a bunch of creeks and rivers that run through it we were basically going to a crybaby bridge and if you don't know what a crybaby bridge is it's just like where you can hear not just babies but like people crying but that's where we're going so we still have to get something to drink and something to snack on for the half an hour drive that we had and we were having just a good grand old time you know we're we're teenagers we're both 18 so we're just doing what teenagers our age do but you know we're getting there and like we were actually having a hard time finding it because one it was super late it was it was about 11 30 ish when we found the bridge so it was very it was very late at night when we got there um so when we got there, we got out of the car, <laughs> which which is not a very good idea because we were kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like the road that we were on, it was just a blank stretch of road with like a few houses and a bunch of cornfields. It was literally just farmland we were at and then, then the road that we were on, there was like a tiny little bridge and there was a little tiny creek. Not to mention that this creek had like the creepiest name that it could possibly ever have. So it was just a spooky place that we were at. So we got out of our car to see if we could like hear the baby crying or like whatever cry. We didn't, sadly, is what we were hoping for. Uh, we kind of this we kind of stayed in the spot for like 10, 15 minutes, and we just kind of sat there and we like called out like, "Hello, is anyone there?" Um, so. We were there for like 10-15 minutes like I said before and we didn't hear anything so we got into our car and we were going to leave and I had her pull up on the GPS on how to get back to our hometown. So as we were driving there's literally nobody around us. Like there's nobody. There's no cars. There's, no there's nothing. And again we're still in the middle of nowhere driving back. So we're driving and you know we're having a good time. We're talking about what happened and how it was we were cold and it was really late and how we were tired we wanted to go home and all you know just chalking well a little bit down the road like it's a straight road so there's like there's barely any turn offs or barely any other roads to get to the road that we were on and out of nowhere I see headlights pull up behind the car our car and I thought it was really weird because there was nobody around us. Like, there was literally nobody. This car just came out of nowhere. And I'm, I'm thinking that the car was just driving on its normal path. But in my mind, because I'm a small and I get super paranoid, I instantly thought, like, yo, this car is following us. Like, they saw that we were on this bridge and they were they're going to be creepy and they're going to follow us. So we're driving, and like, the speed limit of the road that we were on was like, at one point it was 55, and so I was driving 55, well this car is speeding up, and it's speeding up in a weird increment, like it was speeding up to be super close to me, but then it would slow down so that it wasn't as close to me, then it would speed up again, and I thought that was weird and a little suspicious, so I sped up. I didn't speed up to like go super above the speed limit, but I sped up 
to a point where I could get further away from the car that was behind us. And as I sped up, the car behind us sped up too. So I, so I was getting a little more paranoid and a little more scared. And my friend, she was looking at her GPS and she was like, we have to keep going on this road for 10 miles. 10 miles is a long time. So I was thinking, okay, hopefully this car turns down a street or goes into a driveway or something and it's gone and over with. The other thing that was more scary and suspicious about it is that the car behind us kept turning off and on its brights. So I thought that was really weird. Like, what is this? What are they? What are they trying to do? What are they doing? And I was just processing all of this stuff and I was like freaking out. So we keep driving and then we get to a point where there's it's more in town, but there's still like it's spacing. There's still not many people out there. And in that part of the town, it's 35. But I was still scared, and my friend was a little, was getting scared at this point, too, because this car was still following us, and we still had, like, seven miles to go down the road. So, it's 35. I'm speeding up to safe increments, so I'm not breaking the law, but I'm also keeping my distance from this other car for my own safety, because I still didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> But they're still behind us, still flashing their lights, and still just speeding up to be behind us. And I thought it was really scary. It was very, very scary. And we were just, we were alone. It was 12 o'clock at night at this point. Or like, it was like midnight. We're alone. We're in a town that we've never been to before. It was just very scary. And then there was this, so now we're getting closer to our town, like to the town that we lived in. And so I was like, if we get back to our, if we get back home to our town, I say town, but it's the city, but whatever. If we get back to where, back to our home and they're still behind us, I felt like I should have called the, called the police and tell them that someone is following us. But... So we keep driving and like the road, it like the road that we were on was a single lane road and then it branches out into a two lane road. So me and my friend were gonna test a theory. We're gonna test a theory if they're actually really, really following us or not. So in the two lane road, I, cause I was merging to the right to be in the right lane. My friend was like, no, 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 go to the left lane. Cause normally people don't ride in the left lane unless they're passing someone. So I was like, okay, let me go into the left lane. The car behind us, after we were in the left lane, they immediately merged to the left lane. And that's when I freaked out so much. And I wanted to speed faster, but I didn't want to break any laws. So I was still going the speed limit. So I got over in the other lane. Now this time, they didn't immediately go into the right, to the right lane, but they did eventually go to the right lane. So but this time I'm like screaming out loud that this is really creepy and this car is following us. But by the time, because then at this point we were getting really close to our home. And like the, like the road that we're on, it goes past our mall. And then it goes into like a highway. So we went past the mall. We went past the mall and I was like, hit, I was, I told my, my friend, I was like, yo, where are we? And it was like, we just passed the mall. And I was like, okay, this person is still behind us. This is really, really scary. But we didn't call the police. So we kept going and we eventually got onto the highway towards her house because I was gonna drop her off. So we're still going we're still going down the highway and this car is still following us. And I was like, okay, because there's like a there's the the highway keeps going straight or you get on it. The exit ramp to go back a different on a different like highway route. So I was like, do you want me to go to the highway, the exit, or do you just want to keep going straight? My friend told me to go straight. And this is when the creepy part stops and it gets, it's all resolved and it's all done. The car that was behind us got on the exit ramp and it was gone. But this happened, this was all like a 20 minute, it was, it was in 20 to 25 minute time frame. 
And the thing that freaked me out the most about this was that the car came out of nowhere. That's what scared me the most because it wasn't there when I was going down the road and like there was no side road for it to come from. And if it was behind us on the same road, it wouldn't have caught up to us in the time that it did. So that's why it scared me the most. But it's fine. It was all done and over with by the time we passed the exit ramp because it got on the exit ramp and it was all good. And we got home safely. I didn't panic on my way back home by myself, completely by myself. And when I got home, I did call my friend and I was like, I'm home, I'm safe, everything is okay. So what I learned from this experience is one, I'm never going to this town that I've never been to before until that night ever again at 11 o'clock at night. I'm not going to any more crybaby bridges ever. And I don't want to be with spooky ghost drivers anymore. Um, that's what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him the spooky ghost driver because it was very spooky and it just scared the patootie out of me. Alright, so let's end my story time. Yeah. Alright guys, it's the end of this story time. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Sending hail. Hey guys, just a reminder, if you do like my channel, give it a big like and subscribe because it will make the channel grow. Also, follow me on all my social media. You can find them all right here or down in the description below. Also, don't forget to spread the love and be courteous to others. Adios.